Hi there, this is Dan Gonzo from the Miners of the Nexus. Today I'm at my single world called Builder because I do all my redstone buildings here that we use later on in our, um, our server, Mentula. And today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to make a door, a lava door that you saw, you probably have seen in uh, our latest uh, video. So, nothing further ado, we'll start. Look, we're going to have two pistons, sticky pistons on that one, on, on those two blocks. And we're going to have a pattern here, and we're going to create what they call a, a mono, mono circuit, mono stable circuit. Put a torch there, repeater on one, repeater on four, four ticks. Then we wire them up like that. One forward, one to the side. Oh, there, sorry, there. And then we put another block here. Come into this block, make a cross, something like that. It looks like a cross. Oh, there. And cut the center one out. Then some redstone dust there and some rest of the dust there. It's more or less what you have there. And below here, we put a torch. That is basically your mono circuit. And we're going to demonstrate that to see what actually a mono circuit does, a mono stable circuit does. This is going to be on one. To demonstrate it, we're going to wire it up. We're going to wire it up these two pistons here. Okay, so when we hit this button, you should you should see what happens with this piston. It just gives a flick. That is the effect that it does on pistons, the monostable. It spits the pistons out. Okay, but apart from that, it does other things. We can take advantage of this of this. Uh, the effect it has on those pistons by if we put a, uh, a sticky piston down there make a hole there put a torch cut down there another repeater there and the torch there so what we're actually going to be creating is an on and off switch. You see now the pistons before were spit out, now they won't be spit out, they will just open and close regularly. Up, up and down. So that is that we will keep, that will be part of our of our system. Now we need to to put on the rest of our pistons that we're going to use for this door. Have those pistons up there. Get some sticky pistons. One there. This is very laggy, but I'll try my best here. up here, same here, we put two other pistons here, these pistons are going to be the ones that will allow the lava to flow and cut and cut the lava flow as well. Put a couple of blocks here, two, okay. This, you know now that we have one, two, and three spaces. This is going to be your floor. So, when that piston is down, we need to have a we need to have a place where the lava will 
will will fall and will not flow all over the place so we need to make a a path if you like for it a channel something like that so now as you see we have a, a channel where the lava can flow in but not out in the same way we need to have a, a channel at the top to contain the lava and we can go ahead and build that and then one again around it so now we have to power we have to power this pistons and that and those two up there for that we get half slab anyone will do what you call a transparent block if I can find one here I like to use this one one there one there then we can two out and cut that one on here put a full block here one on top cut it and then we can wire that up you know your wiring is correct when they join like that. If you have a dot, then you know the wiring is not going correctly. Now for the other side of the, the other side of the pistons. You're going to take advantage of that dot there. we can run run it up to here and I use the same system one there one there okay and there we go around here and then redstone all over the place from there up to there and we can test that so now you see we have a space this is covered up what you see all it does is just like a quick on and off now we have to power the remaining pistons which are those two up there which will control the lava flow for that we will get some pistons here some blocks and we make a power tower up to the very top like that you can put that there and then we cut alternative blocks off to put our torches on some redstone Some redstone there, and that's pretty much it. We'll do one test to see if it's working correctly. You see that opened and that closed. So all we need to do now is fill in our bath with uh, with lava, which is here. 
and now if everything's come out correctly when you hit that button we will get a lava door the closing is a bit slow as you can see it's dependent on the lava flow but you really don't care about that because you go in you as you go in or out you just allow that time to go by it's getting in that you want to go want it to be fast and it is which is and you can walk right through well that's a tutorial i hope you've liked it it could be longer it could be you can do more things with it add switches and power pl um, pressure plates and and ex additional protective doors and anything you want so yeah that's it for today please comment subscribe etc you know the things that paradox us every week thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.